cost for, uh, you know, per making spells permanent. So... Well, we do have a lot of gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just thinking... Uh... Okay, for Fire Elemental... Hmm... I'm just looking at the list that this, the other spells, what's their cost. Uh, uh, what's the uh, summon monster? Lissander, what's your summon monster like? What's the spell level? Or oh, I, I've only got summon monster five because A is the only one I bought in the D. It's the first time you can get an okayish elemental. It's only a large one. Okay, though. give me a sec. I have my phone. Is he speaking Polish? I think so. Yeah. Awesome. Could you give me like permanent angelic aspect or something like that? You'd have to ask him. There's a specific list of what you can make permanent. Ah, okay. Everybody do the dinosaur. The yeah, otherwise I'd be able to fly like anyway. It hasn't been updated, so that Okay, back. sorry. Family called. Uh, uh, Let's see what's... Okay, other question. What's the minimum caster level for the summon monster that you have? Summon monster 5. Uh, that would be 9, because um, it's a 5th level spell. Okay, so... Hmm... Uh, I'm gonna say, uh, 10k gold is a minimum, but if you put... Uh, uh, 15, 15k gold. Okay. In in of course that's not that you you do not throw the gold at this at the creature you just need yes. that much to take get. my money. <laughs> yeah, you just need that much to uh, in for components and whatnot. Yeah, sure. To make this permanent. So what do you reckon, guys? Well, unless we have a better plan to get a Elder uh, Fire Elemental at a quick pace, we... I do not see another option. I'd guess, Zach, uh, but I'm guessing Fire Elemental would just simply... Uh, yeah. I know. I'm just making a joke that yeah, there's some greedy creatures out there. Yeah, possibly. Yeah. Uterus wants to make a sea of holy water, got it. I mean, it's, no, you it's your call. If you, if, you're gonna, if you wanna go through with that, I'm, we might as well say that you spent whole day gathering the uh, resources and whatnot in whatever place you can, because you have teleportation spells and... Yeah, um, although only if, if, it's, if we're teleporting, it'll be only two teleports because permanency is fifth level. And some monster prize fifth level, and I've only got five, four fifth level spells. So well, you don't have to do them all, all the same day. So. Oh okay. We can take our time still. We're not. We. we it's waited five years. I think it can wait another day. Mhm. Mm mm. Cool. Very well. Well, I'm I'm down with it, and and I'll I'll pay my contribution towards it if we, if we think it's a good idea. Okay, so if you go with that, then how, uh, who is paying, or how do you split the payment, uh, the cost? Well, are we happy with dividing it up, people, gentlemen? Dividing it up uh, between the four of us. Yeah. All right. So let's see. <sighs> Three thousand seven hundred and fifty gold. I'm happy to pay that. Oh dear, I'm paying for something. Oh well. I was just saving my money for my retirement days. You don't even have your uh, coin pouch, remember? I never gave, gave it back as Vestin. 
Yeah, but I came and beat you up and stole it. I did do that. Fair enough. Mm. If I hadn't, I would even have. I would be completely like having a vengeance against the demon who killed you, like <laughs> burning wrath. Where's my money, bitch? <laughs> like buying a dimension door just to chase after it. Okay, so yeah, let's just say it takes you. Uh, you take a full day to gather all that stuff. Uh, during the day, like uh, the you know the female adventure group, like thanks for the uh, warm welcome, and they go oh, like yeah. they they say they will be they will try to be in touch and in around they will. Oh see yeah, them and uh, ice hollow. Before they uh, uh, leave, I'm going to uh, give uh, what was the name? Ramus. Ramus a. Uh, a necklace that I have, saying that it'll keep her safe. Is it some kind of cheap, like ten gold pieces garbage or something? <laughs> well, yeah, it'll but she's not exactly a greedy person, so she's like says, "Oh, that's very sweet of you," and she gives you a uh, a kiss for goodbye. Oh. Well, it will help me if I ever need to scry her location. Yeah, definitely. Don't you mean spy on her location? <laughs> Genkiro, the first step on his uh, stalker path. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I won't use it like that. I'm just not looking. yet. Not yet, not yet. <laughs> that, uh, that, re that reminds me... Uh, do we have a way to get rid of all the water in the lowest level? Uh, e yeah, let's just say that, yeah, like, summoning pointer, obelisk of lightning, fireball, cannon, energy, drain ray, like, all have the same mechanism as the obelisk of lightning, so there is a, like, uh... uh Could I turn it all into holy water and then spray it down on demons when we meet them? Um, nah. let's see, I have control water, so I can just kind of... Yeah, so you while, while you guys are preparing the spell, I just kind of like start chucking it all out the hole in the bottom of the thing because we actually never closed it. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh, we have our own moon gate. <laughs> I mean, latrine. <laughs> yes, I'm afraid that. Okay, so we'll just say whole day passes, you gather all necessary stuff, and. Uh, question for you: Do do you wanna go with the procedure like uh, during the late evening on the same day or morning the next one? Uh, if it's not any against the other side, say we do it uh, on the evening. Okay, cool. Um, okay, so you, I'm guessing you gather up in. Standard is summoning room. Please. Okay, so you gather up, you prepare all the resources, I guess. And I mean, that might be a question for the maestro, like master of the ceremonies, that uh, how does it look like for the outsider and for the rest of the party? How does it look like when you do the summoning? Right, well, presumably we've spent a lot of that gold for permanency purposes on incense and candles and shit like that, yeah? Mm-hmm. So, it looks... Well, it depends on how you cast spells, personally. It looks like a cross between a sort of eastern temple and a really, really creepy um, brothel with the oh. amount of silk and incense and flames... And we've also bought, um, just to add I mean, to the spirit and permanency. I mean, paper. how much does a candle cost? It's like one well, copper? No, the thing is, the other things that we've got have been things like paintings of fiery stuff from artists in town. I mean, technically, otherwise we would have like 15,000 candles, like everywhere. Yeah, exactly. That. We've bought, you know, hugely expensive perfume, 
um, with parts of uh, paintings from people who are quite good uh, about um, stuff from the plain fire and things. Essentially, for the permanency to work, we have to have a sense of it being a home for the summoned creature as well. So we went to the desert and bought a lot, lot of fiery stuff. Yeah, so there's a bunch of fire. There's, we've got like um, red, red robes, silk things. Basically, it's, it looks quite. Um, oh, and we've got red light bulbs. Very nice. <laughs> I really like the description. <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, there's a lot of. Um, Oh, I'll tell you what, we've got this wand of endure elements, and I cast that on everybody, so we can turn the temperature up in the room uh, to really very hot indeed. Another very good idea, like, I'm really impressed. Yes, and all the candles melt and everything's in vain. I can become a fire elemental if that helps. Yeah, well, yeah, do that, do that to be sort of welcoming if you want. Cause, um, sure. Basically, I'll be a fire elemental. The principle and... of the work is that we are trying to not just con, but welcome the fire elemental in so far as it can be. Okay. Yeah, I'm. I'm really f like there's really a good description at what you do and how the procedure goes. And yeah, that's kind of slightly out of character, but. You might you will be sure that the procedure will go very smoothly, but that there is possible one bonus for you. Uh, that well, technically speaking, like summon monster five allows you to summon. I think only technically speaking, by the if you go by the rule, technically elemental. only large elemental. Yeah. But I can't. Yeah, but that's my highest level, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. But listen, I mean, you gave me very good like description. I'm really impressed by all the details. And that's the possibility for you. Uh, uh, what's, do you have any skill ranks in use magic device? Um, I do have ranks. I don't have it as a class skill, unfortunately. So, um, um, wait a second. I do. So basically, because of the really nice uh, like description, I'm giving you like plus 15 to use magic device. And if the roll is good, then the spell will work so well that you will get nice, nice stuff and nice bonus. Okay. Also, um, something that I don't normally cast. I, being a void wizard, I oddly get the guidance cantrip. You know, that gives me a plus one to uh -huh. a roll, skill roll. Yeah. So I'll cast that as well. Okay. Cool. I could have done that on you, but oh, sorry, mate. Fun. I didn't know. Yeah. I, it actually, doesn't you, matter. You're, you're yeah, it doesn't matter. Whoever, oh, whoever yeah. does that. So, um, there's that, and, um, oh, I also cast this brilliant spell, Lucky Number, which is a new one, and, um, I've been really interested in trying it out. I, I bought it last week, you know how I bought some stuff? Yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, I'll just read the description, it, just in case it comes up. Um... And also, because it's a really fun effect, so I yeah, want to... Yeah, re-roll. The re-roll is uh, fun stuff. Yeah, it's just it's a fun effect, and I'll be casting it, like, most days uh, when, we do, when we're out adventuring, just because cool, it's fun. Cool, cool. Okie dokie, so I'm going to roll my um, lucky number d20 now, just to see if it comes up, I can re-roll. So if I get a three, I'll get, I can get a three re-roll, okay? Uh, once in the duration of lucky number... It's 24 hours. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, so, um, uh, does Genkiro want to aid another with the used magic device? Because he's got, um... Yeah. I, I could try as well. I, I have a plus seven because I have charisma. I yeah, have so just plus a quick, well. quick saying that if you want to aid, then it's only your skill ranks. I'm giving the bonus for the Master of the Ceremonies for the su uh, summoning. Yeah. Does he still get the bonus yes. though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He still get like he still gets the bonus I gave him because of the very nice description. And if you, huh? So, uh, that means that you right, so add plus four. Two, if I think, if I, I think the eight another DC is like what twelve. 
I'm not sure. It's ten. I think it's pathetic, really. Normally, hang on. I'll look it up. Eight another. Action. Eight another. Uh. Well, technically speaking. Uh, oh. oh wait. Hmm. It mainly think, writes about attack rolls, but... I think the reason why the DC is really low is because you're expecting to do it in combat a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna say... Well, if the DC is 10, then Mari was able to help you and Salig and Kiro was not. Okay, well, that's... What roll should you roll for it? Uh, 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 was it my entire... Uh, Oh, uh, the entire skill rank. Well, my skill rank was for my my entire use magic uh, device was plus twelve. Oh, that's what he meant. Yeah, I was saying oh. about like use magic device to eight another. Oh yeah, that, that's just oh. we don't get like the fancy plus fifteen that Adam's getting. <laughs> okay, fine. You would have so, made it. It's sixteen. Oh. So we're just all helping you with this. So my mind more like like Zach tries to help you, fails brutally. Genki throws your way, nah, fainting at every, first. everyone like <laughs> managed so to pass. So my there. normal um, there. yeah. My normal use magic device is plus five. But what 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 am I getting once it's all totaled up? Plus six because I'm using guidance. Um, uh, plus fifteen from me. Okay, and then I think eight another gives plus two for each person that succeeds. Yep. So there'd be six more. So plus twenty-five in total. Yep. Okie dokie. Wish me luck. One d twenty. Natural one. Yeah. Um, Izzy, Wizzy, Abracadabra, come elemental to fuel Ed. a fire with your life and soul. Edward Fizzlebang. And join us, Eternal Wanderers, forever. Highest roll here. Okay, so uh, I, I'm gonna give myself the opportunity to say what the, what the effects look like. Like the suddenly the uh, runes on the ground, like start flashing. They are like turn completely white with light. And there is a lot of smoke inside the circle, then that starts swirling into fire that goes almost up to the ceiling. And for a second, you might think, for a second, it's like Spusen, that you might think that it might, the fire tornado might, might consume you, but it's perfectly well under control. And finally, after like full 30 seconds, the smoke dissipates, the vision clears, and uh, before you, uh, basically, <laughs> Baron Gaiden. Well, good thing you didn't use. You face Jaraxus. <laughs> no. Uh, we don't think we could beat Jaraxus. It's nah, not like he's, he's like what level eighty. Uh, before, before you, uh, Lysander, the first thing you you see that because well you are master of the ceremonies, the really uh, wait I need to check what's what's the size of the elder elemental. Okay, so. Before you stands a huge, fiery creature that, without a doubt, is a fire elemental. And yeah, with your roles previously, you are pretty damn sure that's possibly the most powerful type of the elemental, the elder one. And after a split second, the elemental kneel, kneels on one. Well, technically, he doesn't have a uh, legs, but basically he gives a Face sign back. of sign of submission, like he bows his head or like he lowers himself before you, so, something like that. Oui. Well, you rolled over forty DC, so yeah, he's completely under your control. Awesome. Just um, fun trivia. Even with all that bonuses, if you would roll natural one, 
Yeah. He would go berserk and attack you immediately. Yeah, well, I was. I'd Fun. Have... Yay. Good thing I uh, am a fire elemental. Yeah, absolutely. I go, I go berserk with him and attack you. <laughs> oh god leave. damn it, that just kill you instantly if you tried, but yeah. Well, you could wrestle, couldn't you? Um, I, well, do you want to... Um, do you know something that I can't do? I can't talk to him because I don't speak Ignan. Oh, I can. Never. Yeah, well, so can you, can you talk to him now because I can't speak his language? Hello! I... Um, what I guess not walk over towards the elder elemental, and I just tell him that I am Talk to your master's you. translator. Yeah, um, he uh, nods. He's he's a, he's he's going to be essentially a welcome guest. It, we we will keep this room uh, decorated as 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 he pleases, and. Um, but we want him to join us in our in our uh, in our mission, and it probably involves sitting inside this furnace for quite a long time. Um, I, I don't know if there's a nice way to say it. How we want him to get inside the burner? Uh, well, if you don't have an idea, then you can but, give um, me diplomacy or bluff checks, whatever you I, want. I think. Um, uh, Murray is probably more charming than Lysander, which is probably just as well that she, she's translating. If Could she can, um, you know, spin up some lies, then translate it with a minus five, ten bonus, or do it or something. Hmm. What was that? Couldn't get. Couldn't Genkiro lie, spin up a convincing lie, and then you translated it with a minus ten bonus or something like that. Oh. You can use bluff to act like you know a language, but I have plus 20 to my diplomacy. Yeah, well, in that case, um, st start sweet talking the guy that he's. Yeah. He, he's start telling him he's a guest, but we would be. Yeah, telling... the only thing that he. Like, after a sweet talk, like, he, he notes, he, just for assurance, he looks at his master, meaning Lysander, and he asks the question that, of course, is immediately translated. Uh, 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 something along the lines that he wants to confirm that is that your uh, wish, master? Absolutely. And um... okay, then he will gladly go to the specific uh, power source place into the crystal, and he will start f uh, not Perfect. filling up, but pull, putting out his flames and power of Elder Elemental to hit the interior of the tower. Awesome. Well, that's cool. All right. Oh, man. Yeah, we just, like, out of correct, we probably broke and, like, shit ton of rules, but, you know, rules okay. are cool. It's a crazy spaceship. Who knows what happens? Yeah, I, I basically give you, like, think outside the box and all that stuff. Okay, cool. so that's done. Uh, let's just say that was. It took the preparations took some time, so there is too late to actually uh, do anything else. So we might flash forward into morning of the next day, unless you want to do anything specific else. I'm going to keep watch on the. Uh... By the stairs, so no, nothing uh, from upstairs come down. Oh, actually, All I just do want to. I want to do something. Check something just for the night while I've got some spare time, and while I'm a little bit. Um, okay. Not exactly fireproof. I'll go down to the fireball cannon, and I want to check it. I've, I've got a casting of fireball, so I'm considering trying to. I don't know. Maybe load it up if it doesn't work, or it it might be the elemental. Powers the power source or the magical power source? Uh, well, as you like, for example, check magical power storage, you see slowly as you move around, I'm guessing, or like you talk between each other, maybe with, with Genkiro, who has a lot of knowledge checks and he might take not 20, then you might see like the signs that power is slowly starting to gather. 
Yeah, sure. Of course, because... remember that there is the storage is huge, and yeah. for now you have only one power source. No, no, I appreciate that, but I just want to. I just want to do a bit of um, checking. Okay. To now. now we've got a obelisk of lighting, a fireball cannon, an energy drain ray. Yeah. Yeah. Now I have, uh, for the purposes of this research day, I okay. learned a casting of lightning bolt, a casting of fireball, and a casting of innovation. And okay. so I want to get Lysander to fiddle and check with these things, and if it maybe use a casting of those in in the machines to see if it kind of I don't know, does something, even if it, there's a sort of temporary. Uh, I don't know because I don't know how you you run it, but uh -huh. if I was Lysander with those spells. Yeah, yeah, sure, no problem. Uh, give me a on the ah use magic device. Um, okay, I'll have to use another guidance, but it's a cantrip, so... Yeah, you no problem. Can you just, like, abuse the, the guidance as much as you like? Yeah, bugger. No good. Cantrips are fun. Well, you think that in ev like, you put, like, you channel your particular spell into, you know, fireball, into fireball mm -hmm. cannon and whatnot, Mm. And you think that there's something like you think that the scale is uh, not really enough? No, no, probably not. No. I didn't think so. I just wanted to, to see how we could get it to hold up. I mean, because um, obviously, like what you did is like a drop in the ocean. It's not really a half charge. Then I just want to say to the guys that obviously at some point we want to be able to fly overhead and people to be in the fireball and energy drain cannon shooting moves from below. Also, uh, if you go to the, like, if you, like, move around parcels and, like, check things out, mm -hmm. then without rolls, because you did uh, already, like, enough of them, uh, there's also other possibility for you that the other crystal is this time for uh, air elemental that mm. if put there he will definitely improve help with uh, tower moving speed maneuverability and uh, whatnot. Well, I don't want to ride our luck at the moment, and um, yeah. so uh, does, it's for the future knowledge. Yeah, okay, guys, I think um, we'll try that another time when we've, you know, got a bit more uh, power. Now we are a bit more desperate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. because right now, even with, without that, the tower is technically flying and moving. <clears throat> we'll do it when we're falling towards the ground. Mm. Okay. So, if there is nothing else... Uh, no. We gonna swing to the morning of uh, uh, another day, but I need just ch need to check really quickly one one thing. So, nah, we're gonna do it. Five and yeah. Okay, so <clears throat> uh, Genkiro, like, uh, give me a will save. Oh no! Oh, um, and well, then you're probably gonna see. roll a one, and we'll never see you again. No, that's that's much more likely. Although who knows? Okay. Uh, basically, I'm not sure if the spell works exactly like this, but let's just say uh, you suddenly wake yourself like in the middle of the night, 
For a second you think that someone was watching you and like in your head there might be a small uh, laughter and that someone watching you, you even for a split second you think that you saw uh, two red eyes in the corner but you wrap your eyes and there is nothing there. <coughs> Alright, do I wake with a cold sweat or...? Probably. It's more of the feeling that... Like, you don't feel that something's here in the tower, but... Someone, by some means, have watched you. Alright, can I make a knowledge arcana or a spellcraft check to see if I'm being scryed upon? Definitely. No, wait, sorry. Uh, so, uh, no, 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 give me a sec, I need to... Uh, you know what? Yeah, normally I don't think it's possible if you uh, fail, but because it's the tower and whatnot, then yeah. Alright, so... Come on, dice. Probably not. Yeah, you are... Not exactly sure. You start thinking that maybe it was like nightmare, nightmare or whatnot, and you know, technically speaking, you survived uh, really a lot in your life, so you know that's the stuff. All right. Then, if it's in the middle of the night, he is going to take a. a brisk walk to the library and. Uh, get a book and uh, go back to bed. Okay, cool. Nothing else rest of the night passes uneventfully. We have another, mo another, let's just say rather bright morning if, some, if somebody goes out to the entry point and check what's the weather. Mm -hmm. so, I will. Yeah, Actually, oh. about that, Yeah. I'm going to cast Read Weather. I know <laughs> what it's going to be for the next two days. Okay. 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 So you're our weather reporter. Uh, but uh, can you remind me that the spell tells you what's the what the weather will be in your immediately vicinity uh, or like let me what's the check. distance? Ooh, find out if you're gonna do that. Use casting on when we get to the Arctic. That will probably be more useful if we know that there's oh. a kind of super blizzard. We'll not go that far. Call I have it as an oracle actually, so it's just spontaneous. Oh, is it? So it is. So yeah, I could just cast it, it as long time. as I have spells. Anyways, um, uh, in your at your location, so here. Uh, here, okay. So here, uh, today it will be mostly uh, sunny, cold, with a little bit of uh, clouds, but no blizzards. No. Well, basically, I'm gonna say that it's always cold here. But it won't be raining or being blizzard uh, today. Uh, tomorrow there will be much less, almost no sun, much more clouds. And day after that uh, there might be some light storm coming. Alright. Also, I'll just, it's... I, I'll tell everyone in a creepy, like... Um, mysterious person voice. Oh god. <laughs> A storm is brewing. Oh god, really? And then walking right. away. Tackling. <laughs> like, like where do you walk away? <laughs> like, just walks into the kitchen because you have nowhere else to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you walk in when we're all having breakfast. There's <clears throat> a storm coming. And calmly walks out. Uh, also, I wanted to say, like, technically speaking, it's not exactly in the spell description, but Mari, you also feel like, sure, it's uh, for the next two days, but you also feel like that, uh, well, you say storm is brewing, but you feel that there is, you're reading weather says that something definitely wrong in the weather around here in the north. Hmm, okay. So, what are we going to do? I mean... Um, 
Uh, yeah, that's the question for you. What do you do with the next bright day after you manage to get the heating active? I I would like to go to our Arctic mission. And, I would as well. And the other the other thing I want to do is now that we're getting the ship powered up, is go back to the city and start going around for blacksmiths and and people to use to use our rooms. But that's maybe for another time because you know how we've got um, useful areas. Although it might be a bit irresponsible at the moment due to being infested with demons and things gating in. But that's on the I, I think before we start populating the tower, we should probably clear out most of it from evil, creepy crap so they yeah, don't get killed. We probably have to do that first. But, um, okay, yeah. who wants yeah, to do I mean, our Arctic mission? I am up for that. I am. I am. Yeah, it is our priority. It is. So. That's the reason I've come to help. Cool. So, um, what do we know so far about it? We know that there are going to be these awful giants. Yeah, you know that uh, those five years earlier, the old Benedict pointed out that f uh, from north east, from Fools Hope, there are some there were some rumors about sightings of the. Uh, giants. Now, guys, when we meet the giants, don't immediately attack them unless they're immediately attacking us. Really? Uh, no. Good point. I, I can uh, talk to giants. Yeah, me too. Uh, well, that's a little bit spoiler, but that's really a good point for you. It might have saved you a lot of trouble. Yeah, I, 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 I can We speak. could just ask them, hey, where's this thing we're looking for. Yeah, specifically if you don't remember, you're looking for Jotun blood giants to have his blood to be able to go to the place where the city is located. No, so otherwise you will so be freezing to death. We befriend them, and then lead one away, murder him, and drink his blood. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Yeah, but uh, as you remember, there's only one giant with uh, blood of Jotun. Oh yeah! One. So we might piss off all the other giants if we do that. Yeah. But I you don't fly. know if he's here. Well... If you go so, scouting, well, there might be some funny, funny revelations you encounter. It, we we should talk to the play? giants. We're yeah. not hunters, so we're not like encroaching on their hunting grounds or anything, so don't kill any animals. So how are we going to approach it? Are we going to fly as close as possible and then get down and go down to lose? Sounds well, good. Um, well, we probably... Um, Giant flying castle. I'm not sure if it they would the like that. that. Yeah, that might not be a good sign of goodwill and peaceful. Uh, <laughs> yeah, unless you are at open war. So we could leave it here and go try to find some giants. And well, if they my whole want to befriend us, be like, "Hey, we have a giant flying castle. You want to live in it?" Honestly, I. I don't like the idea of leaving our shiny new castle here by itself. How long is, how long has it been sitting here? Five years. <laughs> <laughs> it's so gonna get stuck. Any there. any anybody who isn't as tough as us is gonna get killed within an hour or two of entering it. The place is fucking crazy. I know we've killed a lot of things, but there's all, still plenty of other things that will just straight up murder and an unsuspecting passerby. Um, I don't know. I, I, but I'm down. I think you know how it's the Arctic, and then we've got mountains and stuff. There's we can probably park it in because there's blizzards and mountains. It's probably we can hide it and then hike or, or ride to where we need to go. Right. Do we have mountain climbing gear? I have a flying horse. I can fly and Zensa can right. fly. You're I the only asking. one who's screwed. Mm, well, I, I mean, he can just fly. ride on my I horse. To cast yes. I can learn two castings of fly. Just, just let him ride on my horse, that'll be okay. I can drop him off but if it gets in the He doesn't have any rigs and fly, so giving him the fly spell might be bad. 
actually, if he if he stays on the Griffin as well and can carry it, then that's good because you're mostly doing casting anyway, aren't you? So, just staying there is probably safer. And also, if you want to save your fly spell, you can just ride with me and Zensa. Just yeah, <sighs> don't I'll, let her eat me, please. I want the fly spell for. Um, I need one casting for if we look like we're getting into combat, just for maneuverability and stuff, you know? Yeah, sure, sure, but it's, you might not need to waste it if you just ride with us. Mm. Exactly, which is, so I'm just saying, hop on the giant flying bird, you dumbass. Okay. Right, well, well, we'll go down to on the griffin and two on the rock. No, I'm two on the griffin and two on the rock. Does that make sense? Can we do that? Yes. Yeah. Sure. By the way, can you like try to ping me if, if do you because I kind of lost lost uh, I'm lost in the thought for a second. Do you move your tower or just simply not? I leave it there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you take f uh, fly in like this direction. Does anybody have a good... Wait, I have a spyglass, so I technically it might be a good idea to fly high up and just look around the place. I have knowledge geography. 